Hello, beautiful Leo. Welcome to your mid-month love reading. We're going to take a look at Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from October 15th through the 31st, 2018. Leo, I hope you guys are doing well and happy. All right, let's get happy. So anyways, all right, you guys. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as always, it may or may not resonate. Take a look at your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign because Venus will love all right, you guys, in the description box, as always, below is all of my information. If you want to reach out for a private reading, take advantage of the October special because it will end soon. How do they feel for $40? Normally $75. Also, I am over on Instant Go, Water and Fire Tarot. If this happens to fancy you and you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I always really appreciate it and all of your support. Thank you so much, you guys. I really, really, really love ya. All right, so let's take a big fat look at Leah's love life. I did pre-shuffle. I'm doing a few more shuffles here. And I meditated. I even saged. Well, because somebody in the Aries video, or was it Aries or Capricorn? One of the videos, somebody complained they were all reversals and that somebody need to check, needed to check their cards. Well, I told him he needed to check his love life, okay? Because I shuffle very well and meditate with all my cards. The cards come out the way they're supposed to come out. All right, it's not everybody's story. So let's get going, Leo. Let's take a look. October 15th through the 31st, 2018. Leo, Leo's love life. So we're going to cut it and do it. I'm going to use the after tarot, you guys, to clarify. Bottom of the deck, we have your energy. Ten of wands in reverse, that fire, Leo Sag Aries. Overall energy for the next couple weeks is you guys are laying down some burdens, aren't you, Leo? Getting them off your plate. For me, this is a release of some type of pressure or stress, or it's just getting rid of a situation that was causing too many burdens. Coming into the current moment, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You guys just aren't seeing eye to eye right now. You don't want to work with somebody or they don't want to work with you on a situation here. People just can't kind of collaborate or see eye to eye, not coming together. Often for me, the threes, when they come out in reverse, is some type of, you know, deactivation of a partnership. And with the pentacles, it's on a practical level. There's something that people just can't agree on here. What's challenging you, Leo, is the page of swords in reverse. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be some kind of immature communication is the challenge. Somebody might be doing some uh, spying or stalking. Also, too, with this Three of Pentacles in the reverse, maybe somebody feels like there's some third-party action going on, which is making somebody, you know, check up on somebody else. I'm just saying with the Page of Swords. Could be untruthful communication or delays in communication as well. Recent past, Leo, you have the star in reverse. Sorry about all the reversals. You know, look, I don't, Again, I don't plan them. This is just how they come out. Sign of Aquarius. We have some Aquarius energy here. A lack of hope or faith in something. Some type of wish that somebody wanted here just did not come into fruition. Or somebody started to lose hope or faith in, in a relationship or a situation. What's on your mind is the Ten of Swords. Completion of a cycle, but damn, an ending of some sort. Some type of painful betrayal or ending. It doesn't even have to be an ending, but something that just caused a lot of pain. And it had to do with somebody just did not want to work with you or wasn't compromising, wasn't cooperating in some way. Why is everything happening? The seven of wands in reverse. Here's your energy, Leo Sag Aries. Everything's happening. The situation is you just don't want to fight for something anymore is really what I'm getting or somebody doesn't here. It's, you know, of course, in the upright, this is standing your ground, walking your path. It's being defensive or guarded. Uh, it could be blocking out or rejecting. But in the reverse, it's just laying it down. Again, I'm just getting that overall energy of you guys not wanting to fight for something. Something on your mind, though, did hurt, you know, either an ending or something that just was painful. Somebody backstabbed you or hurt you in some way. Coming in, Leo, what you're going to experience is Ace of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Just be careful of communication coming in because it won't be truthful. And that's why this page of swords in the reverse is your challenge. This is a pesky little liar, right? Or gossip or just untruthful communication. And you see that coming in here as to what you're going to experience. Somebody's not telling you the truth or somebody's just not communicating. Again, Page of Swords in Reverse as your challenge and Ace of Swords in Reverse can be lies, untruthful communication. It can also be delays in communication. 
But I just get the sense that you guys are kind of like, fuck it, whatever. Excuse my language. Yeah, I do say bad words. And if you don't like it, check out Mary Poppins for Tara. She's to the left. Okay. Uh, but you guys are just giving up on this. You feel hurt or betrayed in some way, but you kind of just don't want to fight for it. You just want to lay down the burdens. How you see yourself right now, Leo is the moon in reverse. Something was revealed. Maybe you want to reveal something. Also, too, you want to just come out of any type of anxiety that you're having, which you are with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian. Damn, y'all can't see that at all, can you? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my setup a little bit better here, but it's just not working out the way I want. All right, we'll see how that works. But yeah, right now you see yourself as wanting to reveal something, wanting to overcome some type of anxiety, right? Because you don't want to fight for something anymore. Outside influences that you don't see coming your way is the three of cups, an agreement of some sort, a reconciliation, a coming together, a celebration, perhaps, could be third party, I know. I've decided to name the third party card something different than third party because, well, I'm just tired of the damn third party. I'm going to start calling it the bitch or the bastard that doesn't belong. All right, that's that card. So we'll see. We'll have to clarify. In your emotions is the nine of pentacles. Concentrating on yourself, Leo. Getting your coins straight. You know, maybe taking care of your inner self and outer self, going to the gym, being spiritual, but money's good, you know, you're really, really concentrating on your, on your work, your finance, being independent, being single, because you don't want to fight for something anymore here, most likely outcome is the four of wands in reverse, some type of instability within the home, yeah, it could be a breakup or an ending of a marriage, somebody moves out, that kind of thing, it certainly could be, or just something that causes some instability within your home. Okay, so let's clarify and see what the hell's going on. You guys are still thinking about some type of betrayal here. Something that you really felt kind of backstabbed over, Leo. Alright, so I'm going to clarify using the after tarot. As I'm shuffling, we're going to do a quick recap here. Overall energy, you guys are just tired of something that's a big fat a burden and you just want to relieve the pressure and you're starting to. It's the end of that cycle. You're letting it go. All right. Coming in, we have some people that just can't agree on something with the three of pentacles in the reverse. The challenge or what's influencing that three of pentacles, not wanting to work together here, page of swords in reverse. Could be a delay in communication or some just annoying, pesky lies. Somebody's, you know, gossiping or somebody's spying and stalking, that kind of thing. Has something to do with somebody else not wanting to help out or see eye to eye or work. Could be a third party. Of course, a bitch or a bastard that doesn't belong. All right. Recent past, you guys had some type of wish fulfillment that just didn't come in. Sign of Aquarius. You kind of started to give up on something. On your mind, something's really hurt you with the Ten of Swords. Somebody, you know, swords are about communication. So it could even just be that somebody said some painful things or an ending, some type of backstabbing behavior. But you guys are kind of done with it. You just want to lay it down because in the recent past you gave up or you just kind of felt like your wishes weren't going to come in. So now, Seven of Wands, it's like you feel like you can't even really fight for yourself anymore. So you just lay it down. Coming in, Ace of Swords in reverse. Lack of communication or somebody's lying. Somebody could be a big fat liar. So be careful with communication. You see yourself as wanting to relieve yourself of some type of anxiety or depression, overcome fear. Perhaps you want to reveal something to somebody. You want to let something out. You just want to get over anxiety in the situation. What you don't see coming in is the three of cups. Could be an agreement of some sort, a celebration, coming together with friends and family. We'll see. Emotions right now is the Nine of Pentacles. You guys are just kind of focused on your money, your career, looking good, smelling good, and taking care of the whole damn neighborhood if you want, Leo. Most likely outcome is the Four of Wands in reverse. I see some instability here for something in the home. Somebody, you know, is lacking coming together here. There's just this energy of a breakup or somebody not bringing stability your way. All right, let's take, let's take a look and see what's going on. All right, clarify these areas for beautiful Leo. A sun, moon, rising, a Venus. October 15th through the 31st in love. What's coming in for Leo? Let's start with your overall energy. What are you guys laying down here? That is your energy, uh, end of a cycle of a very heavy burden, a very heavy load. 
Why is this Ten of Wands here overall energy for Leo? Show me now. Yeah, the star in reverse. You guys were really let down about something. Again, sign of Aquarius. The stars come out in reverse twice. You guys, the overall energy is just laying down a situation that just did not come to fruition. Something that you wanted just didn't happen. And so now it's just kind of like, I'm laying this shit down. It was too heavy of a load. And then in the recent past, you also have the star in reverse. Again, sign of Aquarius. Why is the star? What happened in the recent past here for Leo? Star in reverse. Star in reverse. Knight of Pentacles had something to do with an offer, but it was taking forever. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy, something, you wanted something. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles is offering a gift, an offer. It's practical, though. Sometimes it has to do with money, but it doesn't always have to. It's just moving forward. It's an offer, but it was taking forever. Again, it could have been from an earth sign. It doesn't have to be. The energy was just very, very slow moving. And I think you guys just kind of gave up on something because you weren't seeing it come to fruition or you were starting to lose hope or faith, probably because they were taking their sweet ass time with that Knight of Pentacles. Coming in, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this Three of Pentacles? Somebody's just not working together. People aren't cooperating or kind of on the same page here. Why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? More earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? What's the Three of Pentacles? Show me the Three of Pentacles coming in for Leah right now. The Hermit, sign of Virgo. Somebody's kind of withdrawn or isolated, trying to seek some type of guidance, trying to figure out what to do. Because I think for a lot of you guys, somebody, either you or the other person, just can't be on the same page. You guys just can't work together and, and figure something out. So somebody is just kind of taking a little bit of break, pausing, trying to figure out a solution here with the hermit energy. Oh, I swear I can't get through a reading without dropping a million cards. These, this after tarot deck is so slippery. All right, your challenge or what's influencing this could be just an immature air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody that was just very, very immature with communication or some lies or just gossip. What, you know, somebody might be spying here. What's this page of swords as the challenge for Leo? Why is the page of swords the challenge for Leo? Yeah, the page of cups in reverse. You guys wanted an, an emotional offer, something that would make you happy on an emotional front, maybe an apology or something like that. But the challenge is it's just not coming in. You know, that apology or that message that you're waiting on. A lot of communication here as the challenge, okay? And I just don't see it coming through right now. And so, and it has something to do with somebody just not willing to work anymore on something. Maybe somebody kind of, Either you or the other person has kind of gone within, disappeared a little bit, gone ghost. But it's because they're trying to seek some type of wisdom or some type of answer here with the hermit. On your mind, though, is being hurt, you know, or betrayed or backstabbed in some way. What's this Ten of Swords on Leo's mind, please? Why is this Ten of Swords here? The Knight of Wands in reverse, something that's just not moving. Could have been a Leo, a Sag, Aries, kind of that player energy. Somebody that's just fickle. You can't really depend on them. It's just the energy of you can't rely on somebody here. And because you couldn't rely on them, it caused some pain with that Ten of Swords or, or, or a disappointment or a betrayal. Everything's happening, though, in the foundation. The situation is you guys are just kind of done. You're, you're just not fighting for something anymore. This is your energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. Why is the Seven of Wands in reverse the situation for Leo? What is the Seven of Wands? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Because somebody wasn't giving something to you. This is a lack of balance. It, there's an imbalance here. Could be financial, you know, with the Pentacles. Um, the situation is you're just giving up on somebody kind of reciprocating. Do you, you see what I'm saying? Because of this imbalance, um, somebody's not offering something to you. It's, it's imbalanced. Somebody's giving more than the other person. You're not getting what you want. That's just the energy I'm getting. And so you guys are just kind of done fighting for it. Coming in, is this Ace of Swords in reverse? What's the Ace of Swords coming in? Why is this Ace of Swords in reverse? Coming in for Leo, please. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, like a lack of wish fulfillment or just feeling emotionally drained. We have a lot of lack of wish fulfillment here. Something that you guys wanted and it just hasn't come to fruition. So coming in, you're going to experience a lack of clarity, possibly. I don't really see it anymore as lies. I think it's more just a lack of clarity or, or a lack of communication with the Ace of Swords in reverse, which is going to lead to some type of, something you guys were really hoping for here just isn't coming in. Nine of Cups in reverse, Star in reverse twice. 
Yeah, one more card on the Nine of Cups in reverse. What's this Nine of Cups in reverse for Leo coming in? The Three of Wands. You just don't see your ships coming in and some, some, some facet here in your love life, in this situation. Something that you were waiting on, something that you were trying to kind of get some expansion or help with, it's just not coming in. Uh, you see yourself right now as the moon in reverse. You might be dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces. What's this moon in reverse? But wanting to let go of some type of burden. You want to release it. You want to let go of this anxiety. There's a lot of release and relieving the pressure in this reading. Why is the moon in reverse here for Leo? The fool. You want somebody to take a risk, and it's in the you now position. So there's some type of gamble that you want to take, sign of Aries. You want to go off on, you want an adventure of some sort. You want to take a leap of faith. You want something new and exciting. Sorry about that. You guys had to pause for a second. So yes, yeah, so you see yourself as wanting to take some type of risk, or you want somebody to take a leap of faith or a risk. Coming in, what you don't see, so outside influences, is the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups coming in, please, for Leo? What's this Three of Cups coming in? Oh my God, the Three of Cups in reverse. So, oh wow, interesting. So I just feel like coming in is... It could be like somebody backs out of something too. With the Three of Cups, could have been a third party, but coming your way is, again, finding out or something kind of just disappointing you. Like something to do with partnering up with somebody, somebody working with you, somebody wanting to offer you something. Let's do another card. That's crazy energy. And that's been happening all day. Like I'll get a card and then the clarifier is the same card but in reverse. It's I don't know what's going on, but it's been happening all day. What's this Three of Cups in Reverse coming in for what Leo doesn't see? What's this Three of Cups in Reverse? What's this Three of Cups in Reverse? The Queen of Cups in Reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but she's in the Reverse, so she's just not acting right, right? I think somebody isn't giving you something that you want here, Leo, coming in, and I think it's bringing a lack of clarity, a lack of wish fulfillment, something that you're kind of hoping for and depending on. You're just not going to see your ships coming in with that has something to do, it could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, but when she's in reverse, she's just not real, well, nice, he or she, not acting right. Give me another card on the Queen of Cups in reverse. Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse coming in for Leo? The Queen of Wands, this could be you guys, normally a Leo, right? You're having kind of, some kind of standoff here with somebody, um, and it's, I think it's, it's more just a disagreement because again, that three of cups in the reverse is a deactivation or people that just can't agree. There's some type of like fight or argument or something going on here with the three of pentacles in reverse and that three of cups in reverse, but it's really made you guys lose hope here in some aspect of this relationship, this situation. All right. Most likely outcome is the four of wands in reverse. Can't do a reading without cards falling out. I'm not going to take them because there's too many, but I did see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse. So it's, again, something to do with money, something that you guys really want, but it's within your within a relationship, obviously. This is a love reading. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse here? What's this Four of A lack of celebration of some sort. What's this Four of Wands in reverse? Why is the Four of Wands most likely outcome for Leo? Death in reverse and a Scorpio, but you guys are still holding on to something. There's some type of like like this energy of a lack of celebration or a lack of coming together. Um, but you guys are still holding on to something that may again a lot of Scorpio energy. Um, maybe something has ended, right? There's a lack of change also with death in reverse. Somebody's just not willing to change. I think it's this energy of this Queen of Cups, male or female. Doesn't have to be a water sign, but somebody's just not willing to kind of budge here for you guys. Um, you're needing somebody to really take a risk, or you want to take a risk, have them open up. A lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But with death and reverse, somebody's not willing to make a change. What's this death and reverse? Why is death and reverse? It's kind of stuck. Yeah, the devil in reverse sign of Capricorn. But if you are having an issue with this person, I see you guys releasing that. Whatever toxicity this is involving or bringing, Leo, you guys will release that energy. Why is the devil here in reverse? What's this devil? What's this devil? Devil can be, you know, when it's in the upright, it can be negative thinking or toxicities. Uh, but you guys are going to be releasing that. So it'll it'll smooth over. And we saw that with the overall energy. Yeah, you guys have a lack of wish here. Something just didn't come through. 
but you are in that release mode. Ten of Wands in reverse is release. You know, Devil in reverse is release. Seven of Wands in reverse is, uh, I just really don't want to fight for it anymore, so it's kind of like release. Um, what's the devil here? Most likely outcome. What's the devil here, please? The sun in reverse. So here you are. It's going to make you a little bit sad. Major for, for Leo. Right? Whatever you're having to give up on or whatever you're having to release, it's going to it's gonna bring some delays. Could have something to do with a vacation. The sun can be a warm, a sunny place. But if not, this is just your, you know, maybe you guys were trying to travel with this person or something in a vacation and it's just not coming in. It's something that you wanted or hoped for here. Um, but with the sun in reverse, you know, you're ha it's just that energy of having to give up on something that you really wanted. And it doesn't have to be the damn end of a damn relationship. It could just be something within your relationship. Maybe you guys were planning something. But there's a lot of disappointment of, of a lack of something that you wanted to come in in your love life in some aspect. And you guys finally just get to this point where you're like, I'm just laying it down. Like, I just want to get rid of this anxiety. I don't want to think about it anymore. Yeah, my ships didn't come in. Yeah, what I wanted. You know, I still don't have clarity on it. Somebody's not willing to work with me here. Or give me what I want. But I'm going to move forward, Queen of Wands, how Leo would always do, you know. Uh, most likely outcome shows you're st still kind of not getting what you want with the Four of Wands. It's just a lack of celebration or something. It may involve the home. Um, but whatever it is, it's somebody's just not willing to change their outlook on something here with death in reverse. Again, more Scorpio. And whatever, you know, fighting or bickering or whatever was going on here with that feeling of the Ten of uh, Swords, you guys will release that. Devil in reverse, sign of Capricorn. And I think it's still going to leave you kind of disappointed or sad or there's some type of delay here. Give me one more card on the Sun in reverse. Why is the Sun in reverse here for Leo? And the Four of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it'll cause you to kind of take a little bit of a time out, take a little bit of a breather, meditate on it, think about it, right? Heal, because, you know, something here just didn't come in that you wanted. What's this Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords in the most likely outcome for Leo? What is this? What's the Four of Swords for Leo, please? A Four of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles, but see there's potential here. Ace is the beginning of something, getting something off the ground within a relationship. You still have to water it, nurture it, take care of it, right? It could be financial too for some of you guys, but I'm doing a love. Ace of Pentacles, why is this Ace of Pentacles here? What's the Ace of Pentacles? This could have to, have to do with something within your relationship due to finances or, or money, something. What's this Ace of Pentacles? The page of wands in reverse. Yeah. So most likely outcome again. It's just that energy of feeling disappointed. You wanted to get something off the ground. It could have to do with finance, some type of finance within your relationship, money, something like that. Maybe you wanted a lump sum of money to come in or you wanted to spend money on a vacation, something. And it just left you, it's left you disappointed. You know, it's just that energy that I'm getting. Um, but whatever it is, I think you guys are, you will release it. You'll relieve the pressure. Like if you had a fight with somebody or something and about something you wanted to come in that didn't, I see that getting resolved. Um, you guys are going to take a little step back. I think you're going to realize that whatever you wanted just isn't coming in. But it's like by God, let bygones be guy, bygones. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Um, so Leo, there you go. I love you guys hard. Let me hard back and we will speak very soon. You guys take care.